Hi, Linda. Thank you for joining me for the radio podcast. Well, Caroline, thank you for inviting me. I'm happy to be here. Well, so I understand that you have been a recruiter for a while and you really enjoy sharing all the things about FTCC. So before we go into all of the different classes and programs, what are some of the ways in which you kind of share the news and spread the word? All right. Well, one of our main things to do is to share this tabloid to the community. See, it's beautiful. It's good for the... Oh, the look skin. at that. You see how beautiful yeah. it is? It's oh, very yeah. pretty. But, and of course, um, we have advertisers, many advertisers, Array Magazine, Google Array. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Electronic billboards all over the place. And um, Department of Motor Vehicles, centers and um, the fast, you know, the uh, Fayetteville um, area transport system. Yes, we their, their vehicles, many of their vehicles have our advertising. I go all over the place. We go to schools, churches, recreation centers, um, community events. That's great. So you're in a lot of places. So what about social media? Because that's a really big thing today. Oh, yes, yes. Well, okay. Now, uh, we have, first of all, our website, fatexcc.edu. That's the main one. We have social media sites. We have um, our Facebook page, Continuing Education Facebook page. That's FTCC Continuing Education. Just simple. Instagram, we have Fatex CC and YouTube. What else can you tell me about FTCC's corporate and continuing education program and all the different ways that it impacts our community? Oh, well, first of all, uh, we're headed by our Associate VP for Corporate and Continuing Education, that's Dr. Jolie Marsh. And the program offers like rigorous and affordable education options for people seeking new job skills or just exploring new hobbies. Some part person may want to learn how to do uh, floral displays or just something for hobbies, but they're hardcore um, things to learn for to, to enhance their capability for, for employment and so forth. So um, potential students may visit our website. And, and I want everyone to know that these, all of these websites and social media links will be in our, in the show notes for this interview with Linda. Oh, um, Linda, you, you showed us this adorable parrot on the cover of what FTCC calls a tabloid. So it's not a bad thing. Most of the time the word tabloid has a very kind of mm -hmm. ooh, gossipy, but that's not what this is. Uh, although it is providing information, but valuable and real true information. So exactly. do they do this every every um, season, every um, semester? How does the tabloid well, work? We do this tabloid every quarter. Every, uh, quarter. We do the, the spring, the summer, and the fall. And each one has its own beautiful cover depicting that um, that season. It's really lovely seeing them around, uh, you know, because they, it's so colorful. But they contain everything. They contain everything in continuing education and for the, the rest of the college also. So um, they have a different wonderful is I, I just love taking them out because uh you know when i see them on display it's wonderful mm -hmm. now now there's something that is in this tabloid and it's called summerscapes i have to i have to talk about summerscapes it's a youth program for uh June 7th through August 2nd. And this is for children from grades 2 to 12. Okay. And it's such a variety. I was impressed when I looked at all these things that they will learn. And all these classes are not all through the summer, two weeks, a week, 
or whatever, so they can register for different classes. So, I, you know, I looked at them and said, what, forensics? They're learning forensics and so the younger ones may learn little math things and, and so forth, but, and fun things also. Yes, they learn photography, you name it, they have it. So that uh, Summerscapes, let me show you this Summerscapes so people can look out for it. This is a Summerscapes booklet, okay? Summer, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So and that is out in the community also. Summerscapes that's under um, so website uh, fatexcc.edu. Continuing education Summerscapes, and the thing is that they may not even have to uh, specify that all the way through because if you look down in that tabloid, it is there. It's all spelled out with all the subjects for summer escape. So I must tell you that in terms of um, the CDC gui guidance for COVID, we follow that precisely. That's so awesome. hand washing, masks, temperature checks, social distancing. And of course we pay attention to whatever information they fill out at registration because, you know, somebody may have a little allergy or something. So we pay strict attention to those things as well as for the rest of the staff anyway, for the whole college. Um, now registration for um, Summerscapes is um, right now, but what I have to tell people is that if they're going to register for the following week, that ends at 12 o'clock on a Friday. So, all right, just be sure that they come in in time to, to register. And to register, they come to the Neil Curry building, and which is right behind the Continuing Education building. Mm -hmm. So I saw somewhere the term gear, G-E-E-R. What is that? Can you can you explain what that is? Oh, and yes, yes. Um, to all the guests, I will be putting the numbers in there oh, in yeah. our show notes as well. Mm -hmm. So now, GEAR, G-E-E-R, means Governor's Emergency mm -hmm. Education Relief Fund. It's a scholarship package for several of the classes in continuing education, such as automotive, collision repair, basic construction technology, electrical line, many, many, many more, okay? That also is featured in the, the corporate and continuing education page. There's so much that we offer with this continuing education program. It enhances lives to the nth degree. Do they also, do you guys also offer GED classes? Oh, I'm glad you asked, yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. This program is called is College and Career Readiness, CCR. And it is on the Continuing ed Education page, of course, website. It provides basic skills review for people who may have got rusty with their basic skills. That happens. You know, you have, a, you have credentials, but somehow you forget certain things. And so we do that as well as people who may have been in the sixth grade or something and not or not able to continue school so they get that basic um, math and English skills now if we have classes for the G GED as you asked but we call the GED high school equivalency we don't just call it GED um, also the adult high school diploma and very important English as a second language. There is a class to prepare students for the test to enter military service, and it's called ASVAB. And ASVAB is an acronym, it's Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery. Okay, so that, you know, you have to have a GED at least to come to that class. So the entire CCR, College and Career Readiness uh, Program, is free, free of charge. That's amazing. Uh, it's That's amazing. wonderful. The only cost they may have is when they're ready to graduate and walk across the stage, 
they may have to purchase a, a gown. And even that has certain little help too. They get, we, we, we help people in every <laughs> area. So um, how long do the classes, the continuing education classes, how long do they typically last? Oh, it all depends. It depends on the score a student attains on assessment. So I usually tell them, look, don't think of it as a test. When you go to the doctor, they have to give you a little assessment, check your heart, do certain things in order to find out how to treat you. So in the same way, we have to assess people when they come. So we know at what levels to start them. They may be very good in math, but they may not be very good in reading. So they get placed according in each subject area. They get placed according to how they did on the um, the assessment. So we try not to let them think they're doing a test for them to get nervous. Well, you brought up medical, which is a great segue into my next question, because I have looked through the continuing education classes, because mm -hmm. I'm someone who loves to learn. But I noticed there is, there are some extensive medical training services and classes. So what is, what's all that about? Oh, you are correct. No, Miss Kathy Baxley is director and dean of the emergency medical services slash health programs and the department chair for health services. You know, in, in collaboration with Miss uh, Baxley is Miss Lashonda Turner in the corporate category. Miss Baxley will provide external training, let's say, to army personnel in a large hospital, just as an example, okay? And she will elevate them from, let's say, EMT, emergency medical technician, to uh, a, a paramedic. Now, the paramedic can give doctor's level service to, to help people, uh, where they can now administer doctor's level of life-saving measures on an ambulance and elsewhere. So in a sense, there are mobile doctors. <laughs> so um, she does that, she trains them and so forth. And ambulance driving, you have to know what to do on the ambulance to, to save people's lives. So all of that, you know, and then we have um, other areas, phlebotomy, cardiological, car cardiology technician, <laughs> can't even say, you know, it's, they, they do a lot of things. Um, certified nursing assistant. We have a registered medical assistant, one and two. And many, many more. Because you see these people when you go to the doctor and you have young people in there doing um, um, uh, different things. They come in and they draw your blood. They do different things. And I'm always asking them, where did you get trained? And when they say FTCC, I was like, oh, cool, the FTCC is wonderful, you know? <clears throat> so we're very proud of it. Um, they cover a wide, wide area. Uh, we don't have enough time for me to say everything here, but um, that health technologies is something. This is so impressive. And I really appreciate you sharing with me as much as you can in the limited time that we have. Yeah. But I also know because I saw this in the in the tabloid, or, um, that there are some cosmetics and cosmetology type things. What can you tell me about that? Yes, yes, yes. Um, this area is headed. <clears throat> I'm sorry, by Mr. Bryce Jackson, and it's chaired by Miss Veronica Guyons, G U I O N S. So, aesthetics and skincare training is a two part. 600 hour esthetician program for skin care and salon spa hair care and also cosmetology en español también we have cosmetology in spanish nail care of course did i say nail care it includes nail care um pedicure the entire thing skin care everything for cosmetology mm -hmm. 
That's so nice. I could definitely use a little bit of that right now. Um, so the last program, um, I have a couple, just a couple more questions. Mm -hmm. I know there's also corporate and industry type training because I saw some, some things for <coughs> drones and carpentry and things like that. What can you tell me about those? Programs? Oh, yes. You know, as a matter of fact, he does something like what Ms. Maxley does in that he will approach corporations, businesses, and just find out exactly what they need because <clears throat> they have staff there. And what does this corporation do? How best can this corporation operate? Are your people, is your staff up to the task? Do you need to improve their standing in any way? So now we, do, we train their staff in whatever things they need. And what does that do for the, the, the corporation? It increases, it, it increases their bottom line, it's good for them. And it also helps the students to elevate so that they go to a higher uh, salary and, and they're more knowledgeable and it's good for the company. So it's a win-win situation. Our Dr. Silas Acosta, he does all of that. And Mr. Greg Moore is a person to call for information and guidance and, and in-house training. So uh, it, it is great what he's doing because he's responding to what the corporation needs. He's not just going up telling him what we have to offer. He's saying, what do you need to increase your productivity? So Linda, this is a huge military community because Fay yes. uh, Fort Bragg is right here. So uh -huh. what kind of classes do you have? Does FTCC, have classes for veterans. Do you know we were voted the most military friendly college? That's fantastic. Military wow. friendly. Yes, we interact with the military very closely. Um, yeah, we have a program called Transition Tech, Transition Technician. Tech. And we're proudly serving transitioning soldiers and veterans. Many of these have retired and are seeking training for entering other areas of work. And um, so corporate corporations are very happy to hire them because, you know, they know they come with a good work ethic already. They know that they're trainable. They have good integrity and so forth. So, um, we find that uh, it's it's a pleasure dealing with the military transition tech area. Um, now, the recruiter for transition tech is Miss uh, Pendy Evans, which I could you know just spend more time on each area because they're so widespread, um, multifaceted, lots of areas uh, where people um, can better themselves. Um, you know, there's even something called a CPL, and this is for credits um, of uh, for prior learning. If you um, finish these credits, hey, they if a person wants to go to college, th those credits can add to their college credits. That's awesome because. That's this yeah, because this continuing ed is really a non-credit type um, classes, you know, set of classes. So for you to now do some of those classes or courses and you're able to, say, apply some toward going to college and, and right here at FTCC, of course, you know, we have the curriculum area where people can go for their uh, um, associate's degree. So that's a, it's a wonderful walkthrough at FTCC. We have something called Welcome to Learn FTCC and uh, we have scholarships for that. Um, uh, it's an online continuing education course for individuals who are interested in obtaining occupational training. I love to talk about FTCC. You do. You do. <laughs> Linda, thank you for all this information. And for anyone watching, all the website information, social media, phone numbers, those will be in the show notes. But Linda, if you wouldn't mind sharing that information one more time, and then any message you would like to give to our community about the FTCC continuing education 
area. My final. Or just FTCC. <laughs> to the community. Okay. All right. Let's look. FaithTechCC.edu, continuing education, and other areas flow from there. For example, they can put slash uh, um, summerscapes or uh, continuing education, health programs. It's all there. Okay. Now we have Faytech, the Instagram, FaithTechCC. Faith Tech CC, F A Y T E C H C C. We have Continuing Education Facebook page. That's F T C C Continuing Education. And YouTube, of course. You go to YouTube, uh, www.youtube.com. Then you put in your Faith Tech CC and then Continuing Education. It has the whole area of, that we have to offer. It's there. So my final word to the community, I would say, remember Cumberland County. FTCC is your community college. We love you, uh, Cumberland County. And I think you love us too. <laughs> Wanda, this has been so great. And I really appreciate all the information. And anyone watching, I can tell you or listening, I can tell you that if you're if you're sitting on the fence or you're not sure but you know you need to go back to school or you want to go back to school if you talk to linda you will feel like you have been friends forever <laughs> and she is such an encourager and it's not just oh you should take classes because of ftcc she she really in my conversations with her i feel like any doubts i had about myself are gone in regards to what I can learn and what I can accomplish. So even if you're just not sure about where you should go, if you should go, she means what she says. She's 100% genuine. You should give her a call and talk to her. Thank you, Linda, for being here. Okay, it was my pleasure. Thank you for joining me for this week's A Radio Podcast. I'd love to have you join me every week. So make sure and hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Also, just a quick reminder that all the information shared here is the property of Array Publishing and Marketing, LLC. Always affordable, always positive, and always community-minded. See you next time.